Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Roy and Callie here at our house, and I'm sitting in front of our fireplace because guess what? Fireplaces, what do you build in them? That's right, a fire. And a fire, carefully put in a fireplace, can give a lot of warmth, right? Well, that's what Gina and I and Callie do in the winter. We take some logs and we put them in the fire and it can get nice and warm. And we may need that this weekend because guess what? I understand that we might be getting a really big winter storm. So we're already starting to prepare for it. Look here. We're probably going to have to wear a hat and gloves and boots to go outside. We need that for the storm especially when we have to shovel the sidewalk or the driveway, we have to put our coat on. We're gonna to have to bundle up just to even get around outside for the next several days after that storm. We even have, in addition to shoveling, you might have to put some ice melt to melt the rest of the snow and ice off to keep it safe. We've got uh, all kinds of safety equipment here. We've got a flashlight and a lantern. What happens if you lose power? I hear there's going to be a lot of winds too. This could be a big blizzard. So we better have our flashlight ready. We need light so we can see in the darkness. And of course, Callie loves inspecting all the treats here, all the, all the food. Of course, popcorn, critical. You have to have the popcorn, right? And Fritos and fluff for your hot chocolate. But more importantly, we have things like soup in here. And of course, in the kitchen, we have other fruits and vegetables and things for sandwiches that we can make because we need to have all these things to be ready. Callie has her favorite blanket ready to go. So she's ready to go. We got food for her. But you know what? That's preparing for a winter storm. Sometimes in life, we have a lot of people in our church right now that are going through a really hard time. They lost someone that they love. And so they're crying, they're really sad, they miss them terribly. And that's a different kind of storm. That's like a, a personal storm that you're going through. And when we're going through those kinds of storms, how can we prepare? How can we find help to get through the storm? Just like all these things can help us through a winter storm, we have God and we have Jesus. We have the Bible that we can read right? So we can open that book and read and find out how so many people got through their lives really hard and bad times with God's help. We can pray to God. Of course, we should be doing that all the time. But when we're in a storm, when we're going through a really hard time, let's pray for God to help us and to lean into God, to just say, God, I'm trusting you that you'll help me through this. Make sure we're reaching out to our parents and to talk to them about what we're going through. We've got all kinds of ways of help when we're going through those personal storms. And we want to take care of ourselves through that too. Maybe get some rest, go out for a walk or go play with another kid or someone that we like. Just to have some fun if we can or to do something. So Jesus and God, that's how we get through our storms. So just like we're preparing for this winter storm with all of these items, let's always be prepared for the personal storms that come. Let's take care of our souls and let's be in a deep relationship with God and a deep relationship with those that we love and trust to help us through any type of storm that can come. So God bless you all. Stay safe and warm. We love you. Let us know if we can help you in any way during any kind of storm. Say bye-bye, Kelly.